Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 160. Today we have a nice little fun hockey mixer here. We got some 1920 Series 2 retail, uh, some 2021 Series 1 retail, some 2021 Extended Hobby uh, with some artifacts and trilogy hobby from 2021 and from 1920 Ice and Chronology to kind of round things out. So uh, fun overall mixer here and just a couple little break notes. Uh, the Chronology XRCs aren't posted as of the time of the break so they will be a 31 team random in case we pull one artifacts that we know all who all the rookies are so they will go to the player and their team on the checklist so uh i think that covers all the wild card redemptions so uh, if there's anything else that pops up then i will let you know but here we go let's get into the team random so three times on the names three times on the teams who you line up with is who you get good luck everyone here let's go to random.org of course that would help once Twice and third time. Uh, no, I don't want to add a bookmark. Thank you. All right, Dan's on top. Percy's on the bottom. And then team three times. Once. Twice. And third time's a charm. Sabres on the bottom. San Jose. Uh, come on, Mouse. Cooperate with me. Thank you. Sharks on the top. Here we go. Dan, you've got the Sharks. Uh, let's move this out of the way. Justin, you got the Red Wings. Mike with the Predators. Julian with the Leafs. Trevor, you got the Wild. Richard with the Kings. Colin with the Devils. Edward with the Flames. Martin, you've got the Blue Jackets. Mike with the Hurricanes. Snuggy, you got the Blues. Ivy with the Stars. Bill with the Oilers. David with the Capitals. Jean-Francois with the Canucks. Daryl with the Avs. Kevin with the Habs. Emil with the Bruins. Sean with the Flyers. Daniel, uh, you've got Daniel Marchuk. You've got the Panthers and Islanders. Daniel Hunt, you've got the Rangers. You guys managed to stay together. Uh, Ted with the Lightning, Andrew with the Knights, Robert with the Ducks, Jean-Francois with the Penguins, Ted with the Jets, uh, Fidelis with the Senators, Herman with Chicago, Jordan with the Coyotes, Percy with the Sabres. Here are your teams. I'll get them over to the team viewer shortly here. Don't want to save this. I want to save this. All right. So there are the teams. Allow a couple minutes for trades. It is five twelve. So. Well, a couple minutes here, but yeah. Yeah, so we'll start off with Series 1, uh, then go to Series 2, then Extended, uh, then Artifacts, Trilogy, Ice, Chronology. Kind of finish things off, so. So uh, let's get some stands prepped, though. Let's get three stands out. Feels like it's kind of a three stand break. We'll get a couple good young guns, probably. Can go from there. But we'll rip and stack series one and series two. Uh, if you're new to what that means, pretty much we just open up all the packs, stack the cards upside down, flip them over once half the packs are open, and we go through them. It's just quicker and easier, and um, probably better watching the break. But really, not seeing anything on the trade front. Uh, there's zero chatter, so let's get started. We'll get all the packs out at least. Ooh. We'll get all the packs out. And again, if we really don't see anything, then we will start.
All right, I don't see anything on the trade front, so let's get started. Good luck, everyone. Let's hit a... We haven't hit a plain Byram in a while, so let's hit a plain Byram. Hockey news has kind of died down with uh, free agent frenzy over. And boy, was that ever a frenzy. Now it's just kind of like RFA time. Tarasenko watch. Hey, BGB. Which is always fun. And a reminder, in Series 1 retail, there are a few base packs. So, uh, you know, as long as we get like our standard amount of young guns, it's fine. So... for the first stack. Ah, there we go. There we go. Normally the first pack's actually a base pack too, so. Kubalik for Chicago on the canvas. You'll have you for the Canucks on the Young Guns. Base pack there. Is that back to back base packs? Looks like it. Yes. Nelson for the Islanders on the portraits. Actually, let's move this up there. Frank Hoos for the Abs on the Young Guns. Came for the Sharks on the canvas. Sixteen double base packs there. Delandrea for the Stars. Ovechkin for the Capitals. So, I mean, we got what a typical half looks like. So, uh, all right, two canvas, two portraits. Three young guns. Uh, I would... Artifacts packs are... I just, as a single, I don't like it as a single pack product. They're very easy to kind of figure out what's in, like it's just it's tough buying single packs with the product like artifacts because this year especially um you kind of know what pack's gonna have what um i'll show you with our box and like again it's probably fine um but like you know I'll, again i'll show you with our box like when we get to it um it's, it's, a, it's a product that I would say buy sealed if you can. Um, I know it's tough because it's tough to get the full box sealed, but um, I also don't think that's that great of a deal. So, because that is, yeah, that's, yeah. So, but yeah. Like, it's, it's a product that I have a tough time suggesting people to get it in a, like, single pack format unless you can see all the packs in a box type of thing or you know that they've just been mixed up because... Yeah. This is 160. 160 ones tomorrow. And here we go. Wolf for the Leafs. Gets left for the Ducks. Kevin Hayes for the Flyers.
foodie for the Blue Jackets on the Young Guns. O'Reilly for the Blues. Uh, Kershaw for Chicago. We could have a lot of base packs. That's our three Young Guns already. Young Gun Canvas of Bodem for Chicago. Unless we have a bonus young gun, which we do. Ingram for the uh, Predators. That's seven young guns. You take that. And Norris for the Senators. So bonus uh, bonus young gun in the box. Yeah. Ewok, this is uh, 160. 161 is tomorrow. Alright, next pack. next pack next box so yeah we'll do uh extend it after this here slide these this way we'll do extend it after this then we'll do uh artifacts trilogy uh ice and emerald chronology i guess i think ice actually has the better like absolute peak top end hit potential between the two, but chronology is probably more consistent with a good hit. So. face in like every photo it's just meme worthy it's great let's see uh let's see a makar young gun by the way that's my call for the box my call is makar well i'm really good at flipping the hit here we go should be less base packs in this by the way for all for the sharks zuccarello for the wild on the update Breeze ball for the Canucks on the Young Guns. Sagan for the Stars. That is a base pack. Sandine for the Leafs. I'm just going to double check that. Because you can get one to two in retail series two. All base. Nothing weird. Koivula for the Islanders. This feels like Kako. Nikea for the Leafs. Bunneman for the Flyers. Palmieri for the Devils. Sorella for the Panthers. And Glass for Vegas. And quiet first half, but that can change. That can change. Bobrovsky for the Panthers on the blue. Bergman for the Sharks. Suzuki for the Habs. That's a good one. That's a good one. 
Tesla. Honestly, $35 brake, that's, that's a standard. Taylor Hall for the Devils. Beast pack. Ferry for the Flyers. Decord for the Senators. Obrovsky for the Panthers on the retro. Hanola for the Jets. Uh, Young Gun Canvas of Costin for the Blues. Again, liked his game, but kind of has fallen off, so. Lindgren for the Rangers. So, Lindgren was, is normally with McCarr, but he's with Suzuki too sometimes, obviously. It was Duran for the Hurricanes. And so, honestly, like, solid box. Not the best, not the worst, just solid. I, actually, Suzuki's probably, like, second, second best Young Gun that you could get. So, in that case, very good. Here we go, extended time. Let's see, I mean, we want to see the Cali of Rathbone crop, but honestly, Nolan Foot. Is I think we're more due to see. Uh, that is just one card. Carlson for the Capitals on the ultimate victory. Had a little bit of a soft left corner there, bottom left corner. It's common on those cards. Uh, reflections of Comtois for the Ducks. I need the uh, base variations out for this before I forget. Uh, just in case, but uh, Cameron Hillis for the Habs on the Young Guns. There we go. Here's our retro, Kershaw for Chicago on the retro Young Guns. And yeah, not really a recap hit, but just a cool card. Uh, base pack, All right, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, base pack. Uh, oh, and just forgot to mention it on this product. The All-Star Game cards will go to the team that they were on in that All-Star Game because it's a specific All-Star Game logo. So if we hit a French variation or a clear cut or something just before we do that. Uh, Cousins for the Sabres. Kind of really hollowed out there, but it's not numbered or anything. Got a clear cut coming up. Uh, well, yeah, on that note, Ryan O'Reilly for the Blues on the uh, All Star clear cut. Obviously, he's still with the Blues, too, so that one works, but there are some players who have changed teams. Uh, Shimolevsky for the Sharks on the Young Guns. There are two Young Guns. Uh, 0506 tribute of Gibson for the Ducks. Marner for the Leafs on the ultimate victory. Just wanted to slide away there. Miller for the Rangers. A little bit of a soft corner there 
on the holographics and just base on the rest. Gauden for the, uh, or sorry, Gauden for the flames. On the young guns, another young guns. That's it. We're at three, so we're halfway there. Uh, O'Connor for the penguins. Rookie class of bellows for the Islanders. Yo Levy for the Canucks on the Ultimate Victory Rookie. Soft left corner on that one. That is, again, par for the course for those, so. Uh, Leonard for Vegas on the 0506 tribute and just backwards pull Yarby. Just a regular base though. Next up. I, I, I said I was feeling like a Nolan foot, so we got a Nolan foot for the uh, Devils on the Young Guns. Calling one out of three shots ain't bad. Here's our finite. Ryan O'Reilly for the Blues. On the finite, number two, a lot. 2999. Rookie class of Ingram for the Predators. We should have one young gun left. And that's really the only thing I'd say that's like actually we're due for. Maybe a French variation, I guess, but Panarin for the Rangers. But those are hit or miss in this, so. Hurdle for the Sharks. Three packs to go. Here's a young gun. Uh, hand mark for the Sharks. French variation variation of Sezikis for the Islanders. Ottinger for the Stars on the ultimate victory rookie. So, eh, not the worst box. Not, it is a typical extended box. We didn't hit the worst name in the uh, 0506 tribute young guns. Didn't hit the absolute worst names in the regular young guns. So like, eh, but. Definitely a little luck, lackluster. All right, artifacts time. Uh, BGB, if you're here, you're asking about single packs from artifacts. And essentially, hopefully this box proves me right again. But essentially how a box of artifacts works, you got your four numbered cards, they're on the left. You got your cards on the right. Top one's normally like, top one's a hit, second one's a rookie redemption, and the next two are hits, so. Typically, your patches end up being in either this one or this pack. They're never really in that last pack, but. Typically, that's how a box, that's why I'd never really open up a single pack of uh, artifacts. Did I switch the rookies? I forget if I switched the rookie on top. Just because it's very predictable with which card is, which and normally the top left is your highest parallel rookie. So you'll see to 45 for the Predators, like it's, it's your lowest number, so that is why I would never uh, buy a single pack of artifacts. Personally, at least. Declare for the Senators on the Cobalt or Sapphire. But I also get the draw behind it, too. I mean, you know, it's hard to afford a whole box. You'll see for the Predators on the Ruby to 399 
Yeah, it's, it's a very consistent uh, product. Velarde to $9.99 for the Kings. How centered is it? Uh, it's not the worst miscutting that we've seen. These two can go up there. Not the worst miscut one. This one's normally where the patches reside, but sometimes that can slide, so. In favor of an Orm of Duchesne for the Predators. This is normally the Rookie Redemption. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with San Jose. Oh, Islanders. Uh it's not so it's Sorokin, right? Yeah. That's actually solid. Double check, but that should be Sorokin. Yeah, normally like this pack would be your bigger your potential for your bigger hit. But it can also not be. Uh Kessel for the penguins on the threads of time. And well, the last card is uh the patchy fun time. Uh, looks like a remnant, so rare one here. Good drill for the flames to 25 on the remnants patch. So uh rarer team hidden. Not bad. Not bad. Number 12 of 25, just missing that jersey number. Here we go. Trilogy time. And again, same thing as, I mean, same thing with all these boxes is like, it's obviously a quality control thing to make sure that they're getting the right stuff in each box, but um, just like single pack wise, it can be pretty rough. Trilogy's not as bad, but typically your two hits are in the top right of the box. And then, you know, so just as a PSA, in case you ever go and buy single packs, uh, something to be aware of. Uh, Yellison for the Flames on the rookie renditions and Carlson for Chicago on the rookie premieres to $4.99. That's a level two. Lindstrom for the Red Wings and Velarde for the uh, Kings on the rookie super stages. Again, all the times of rookie super stages, especially the non foils, and same with the rookie renditions, have chipping on them. I'll try to call them out, but like. Pretty much all of them have chipping or corner issues. So yeah, this one, I mean, this one's a particular bad example, but hardly for the stars. So it really just bashed in corner there. And I mean, at least Robertson for the stars to 9.99 right behind it. So this should be, this can sometimes be a bonus hit. Sometimes you get one bonus hit, but not guaranteed. Kratzoff for the Rangers and McLeod for the uh, Oilers. McLeod's to 3.99. Kratzoff is not numbered. This should be hit one. Jersey card. Soderstrom for the Oats. And Norris for the Senators to $4.99. On the level one. Rookie jersey. And we have a thick card, probably a puck. Uh, Turkoff for the Blue Jackets on the Super Stage. And this way. Oh, that's an, that's an update. Uh, Hinnestroza for the Yotes, so, uh from nineteen twenty on the signature puck. So hey, Arizona getting on the hit board. Not the biggest name, but hey, cool card. Actually, throw that over there. Ice time. And again, same thing as the other box. Ice also has its own tells um, of how the box breaks down. And if you like, it's something that like you probably wouldn't really pick up on if you're opening it up a lot, not paying attention to it, which is fine. It's just something to be aware of is that boxes can have patterns. And so whenever you're buying single packs, just it's something always to keep in mind. So um, here we go, box is empty. There's all five packs. The two rookie premieres are always at the bottom and you typically have Jersey card bonus hit or exquisite rookie and then kind of the big hit is in the middle normally so 
Normally that's how it works. Malcolm for the Penguins on the green and to four or to 999 Nygaard for the Oilers on the Ice Premiers. Green of Kotkaniemi for the Habs and to 499 Asplund for the Sabres. Not horrible. This is normally a plain jersey card. It's like we got an Ice Premiers, I would say, given that it's bowed. McDavid on the orange for the Oilers and Breeze Ball for the Canucks on the Ice Premier's jersey card. This is either sometimes a bonus hit, sometimes you get a sub zero, sometimes you get a bonus ice rookie, sometimes you get two hits in here, but you never know. Hichier for the uh, Devils. A nice retro uh, Ice Premier's. This is actually a really good pack. Olsen for the Sabres and a Quinn Hughes Ice Premier's jersey. Those are, they're, again, the Quinn Hughes, there's no short printing on the jersey cards, but. Just the amount of times we've hit some names compared to others, it seems like there is. So, nice hit on the Hughes. And last pack here. So, bonus hit. Uh, bonus ice rookie. So, really solid box. And on an auto. Hall for the Yotes. And Brady Keeper for the Panthers on the hard signed Ice Premier's auto. Uh, he signed with the Canucks, right? So, all right, chronology time. Chronology, it's a single pack product. So you're not going in there and you're not figuring out how the pack breaks down essentially. Well, feels like a slightly thicker pack. So probably a, uh, a name card. Just gonna make sure that there's no weird parallels in here before I throw them away. Well, not throw them away, put them away. Yeah, just a little thicker. Now we got two nameplates, so we probably one of them is probably auto. Be my hope. All right, yeah, front to back. Here we go. Greg Malone for the Penguins on the auto. I believe that's an, yeah, that's an update from eighteen nineteen. Uh, Neilander for the Leafs on the Letterman to thirty five. Barzell on the base to two twenty two for the Islanders and. Hey, for the Arizona Coyotes, his stuff, his auto stuff is uh, hard to pull. Barrett Hayden to 25. Obviously hasn't lived up to the hype, but at the time was a decent pull. So uh, that's all there is to this break. Uh, overall, I mean, like decent box of chronology, decent box of ice. Series 2 retail is about as you could expect. Artifacts we got a patch in. Trilogy kind of as expected. So overall solid. But uh, anyways, that's all we wrote, all she wrote for these breaks. Um... Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. There's still spots left for the breaks tomorrow. I'll link those in uh, chat right now. I'll try to get the video uploaded to YouTube tonight and post it in the morning. But yeah, uh, I'll see you tomorrow night at the very least. Uh, thanks for coming out. As always, take it easy, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.